Hi, Roy Williams with Airframe Components and welcome back to episode two of our 1978 Cessna A185F restoration project. Uh, last time uh, when we left you, uh, we had the aircraft on the gear. Uh, the engine was still on it at that time. We were getting ready to dismantle the aircraft. Uh, as you can see today, uh, the engine has been removed. Uh, the cockpit has been gutted and we've dropped the fuselage down on the, uh, the ground here uh, for better views today of our topics of discussion. Uh, as you can see, the engine has been uh, taken off and sent to Poplar Grove Air Motive for uh, rebuild. Uh, a new Hartzell propeller has been ordered. We're expecting to have that in sometime in April. Uh, the engine mount was set out to aerospace welding for overhaul. We just received that back. Uh, also, at the same time, we ordered a new Acorn uh, exhaust and uh, received that back in today as well. So the engine compartment is moving along uh, at a decent pace and uh, all the items uh, up here forward of the firewall are uh, being uh, processed at this time. Uh, while the engine is off, everything forward, uh, we've been working on the cabin section of the aircraft. Uh, one of the things we like to do on the Cessna aircraft, uh, take off the cabin roof. Uh, specifically, I'm taking off the cabin roof to get rid of extra antenna holes, putting a new cabin roof back on so when we take it to avionics, they can install antennas as they want, where they want. But while that cabin roof is off, that gives us an opportunity to inspect the carry-throughs, both forward and aft checking for any type of corrosion, uh, dirt, uh, debris, things like that. Also, the wing attached blocks, we take those out, inspect those, and then everything is cleaned and primed afterward. Everything is put back together with all brand new hardware. Uh, while we're in these door post areas also, all the pulleys come out and are replaced with brand new pulleys. Again, uh, putting those back in with new hardware as well. Uh, at the same time, we're in the cabin section. We're able to work on other various items. Uh, the bush wheel bill, the QMI uh, control, uh, elevator trim control wheel has been installed. Uh, we also, uh, on the flap handle, bought a replacement unit from our friends at BAS out in uh, Greeley, Colorado, and brought that in, stripped it down, and powder coated that in a uh, wrinkle finish flat black uh, powder coat. Uh, we use the same powder coat material for the V-brace here uh, in the front uh, windshield. Uh, the flap handle and the V-brace are where we grab onto quite a bit. So powder coating with a wrinkle finish gives it good grip and good durability over time. Also in the cabin section while we're in here, uh, back in the cargo area, the rear extended cargo floor had uh, some dips to it where uh, things had been uh, piled on over years. Uh, we've uh, fabricated a new cargo floor as well for that, just to have a nice, clean, brand new cargo area. Also in this cabin area, a lot of cleaning and degreasing, vacuuming, sweeping out, just general cleanup of the cabin area underneath the floor, things like that. Again, this aircraft uh, having a seaplane kit on it, everything is zinc chromated inside, so we have not found any major issues, mostly just dirt, debris, grease, oil, things like that. So uh, in this area here, just a lot of uh, scrubbing, a lot of hand labor goes in there as well. A few other items on the horizon for uh, future improvements. Of course, while we have the uh, cabin all apart, all brand new control cables going in, throttle, prop, mixture new control wheels, new control yokes going in here as well. So just uh, any sort of upgrade, uh, any sort of uh, new items we can put in here, that's the time to incorporate those as well. When the cabin area is all cleaned and uh, everything is replaced, then we will be putting it all back together. All new uh, glass going in from LP Aeroplastics, uh, the one-piece windshield, uh, of course, uh, the solar gray UV uh, components, we've used those on other projects and have been very happy with those items. Uh, we will put those in again as well as we close up the cabin area. Uh, the doors will be going back on with bubble side windows as well. That's all for today's episode. Stay tuned for further updates of the 1978 Cessna A185F project.